The whole point of this video is for you to begin thinking about other alternative products that you can use to style your hair. I love to experiment with products so it's very interesting for me to find out that I can use a conditioner as a gel alternative. There are styling products out there that can be used for are so multi-purpose. Conditioners now that are washouts are now used as leave-in so it's up to you to read the labels, experiment and, and this is another way of cutting costs. So this is just a video about alternatives in styling products. Okay, so I'm talking about um, gel alternatives. Um, frankly speaking, I haven't yet found a gel that I like and I don't think I particularly like gels. So what I end up always doing is I tend to use conditioners. And this is an example of a great conditioner that actually makes my hair lie down and um, it's the EO um, brand. It's actually a protective conditioner and this one is the restorative conditioner. And the story behind um, EO products is that it's family owned and they are cer uh, certified organic uh, farmers. So their products, they try to keep them as natural as possible. So you find out that um, the ingredients will include a lot of um, herbs and plant derivatives. Um, when you look at my hair, you can see that um, the, the products give me a lot of um, curl definition. Um, and I find that um, both those two that I just showed you, the restorative and the protective, um, they, they make your hair very neat, I find. Um, I can't complain about um, the way they make my hair feel nice and slick, sleek without being sticky or drying. So I would recommend that you try and use them as your gels. They are not gels, they are conditioners. And I think the reason behind this is because the products are quite nasty. So for, for example, this product comes out very thick. You see that? It takes forever to fall. Both of them are like that. This is the restorative. The restorative. And then I have the uh, protective. If this is supposed to uh, protect your hair, your color, the color in your hair, and it's just as thick. So you can get. To, and another thing about the products I like is that they tend not to be bleached. And when I say bleached, they are uh, they, they 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 they're not pretty colors necessarily. That is sort of like a pinkish, lightish brown. And for me, that just indicates that there's no sort of bleaching um, process that takes place. So the, the, the products come out as natural as possible. Um, I bought this. Um, it's supposed to be... It's, these are both... They're not leave-in conditioners. Um, they are washouts but I leave them in I always use my conditioners as leave-ins and I particularly like these ones because they're thick and sort of pasty and when I say pasty I don't mean in a bad way I mean in a good way so you get this binding bonding effect on your hair it slicks it down it keeps it neat and um, still moisturizes it without being heavy it's very sort of lightweight when even though they came out thickish they um, they, they, they thin out. They have great uh, thick protic. I can't remember what they, <laughs> they It's like um, toothpaste. They come out like toothpaste. So toothpaste comes out thick, but then it just thins out and foams. This doesn't, well, it would if you did it, you washed your hair, uh, when, when you rinse your hair out. But in this case, I feel it just it has good slip. It becomes this very thin, uh, film. It's not even a film. And it feels very moisturizing. 
I'm just going to read the ingredients on the backs of the bottles. This is the protective conditioner. It says it's moisture rich for color treated hair. And um, in terms of for nourishment, um, the products or the ingredients that are essential for that are chamomile. And um, there's also for the vibrant co uh, color, it's uh, sunflower and green tea. Um, and then in hibiscus, it's in, hydr in terms of hydration, it's pathanol and gl glycerin. So I guess that's what's the sort of light film you feel. So if you're not a glycerin sort of person, don't use it, but it's not sticky. So I would say this is the glycerin in here is probably so low down on the ingredients list that you don't need to really worry about it being heavy or sticky. Then there's also um, to fortify your hair, they have um, uh, protein, Oroa protein, and then to revitalize, they have, um, sorry, I'm not seeing properly. I'll put it up here. And then to condition, we have jojoba oil, which is fantastic, coconut, and... Uh, a pity I can't see and I'm wearing glasses at, uh, anyway but the the overpowering smell in here is rose and chamomile um, the smells are very woodsy piney herby you know and um, I don't particularly like highly fragranced um, products but these are I guess they, they they have the fragrance is a little stronger simply because they are probably trying to promote the fact that they are organic and they're safe and they're natural. Um, apart from that, it's okay. It's just very woodsy, um, piney kind of smell. Um, both of them. Um, yes, and then this the restorative one conditioner. This is for moisture. It's moisture is for um, normal to dry hair and in terms of quenching there's lime and there's lemon uh, fenugreek avocado and to brighten your hair or hair color chamomile is in here um, honey um, hibiscus as well in terms of hydration they have they have pathanol and glycum to fortify this uh, a kinsa protein I know kinsa is a vegetable, um, so I guess the protein must uh, come from that. To revitalize, they have, I'm going to have to put up the ingredients for you to see, to condition, jojoba, coconut oil. So I think that's the basis for their uh, products. They try to be as natural as possible in terms of using plants. Yeah, everything seems to come from plants. And this is the chamomile and honey. So if you, if you, I think you should give them a shot. I like them. I really, 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 really like these. These are like, um, I always put them in my hair when I can. Um, I like that. I like, I like the fact that they seem heavy, but they're not. They're lightweight. They come out heavy, thick, but then just thin out. So, and I think that's probably the, and, um, other sort of ingredients which give a thick consistency or binding consistency but then just are not heavy on your hair and since they are washout conditioners um, they'll probably leave some sort of film on your hair especially I think with the glycerine and the other products in there so I generally would just would try these I, w I use them as gel like in place of gels I feel they're great if you can see my hair properly, you can see that I have great definition. My hair is lying flat in my hair. Um, and I use this, the restorative, just to moisturize my hair and comb it through. And then I just put the protective um, as the gel or the, the smooth amount of my hair and just brushed my hair. And basically that was it.